Hi, my name is Kristen Berlinden, and I am the writer and director of Alice, a film that is premiering at the 2022 Sundance Film Festival. A little bit about myself is that I have always loved film. Uh, I grew up in Northern California, a town that is right outside of Napa Valley, super, super, super small, nothing to do. I was a tomboy, but my, my love for a world beyond my own came from film. I remember the first film I ever watched was Lawrence of Arabia. The first film that I remember as an itty bitty child was Lawrence of Arabia, which had a huge, huge impact on me. David Lean, to me, was like a rock star. And when I got to be in about sixth grade, I realized that all of my favorite filmmakers, aside from David Lean, were screenwriters. So I started writing screenplays. I was already, you know, connecting vision to what a filmmaker does. And my life was just writing, 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 writing. If you want to become a director, you should write because then you're forced to have a vision and to really think through every beat of a story. And so that's the advice I would give always. So Alice is a film about a young woman born into slavery. And when we meet our character, we are immersed in a world that is, feels suffocating. And uh, one of the things that I wanted to do to make Alice stand out in its genre, because Alice is really two genres, was for the first half of the film, when she's on the plantation, I wanted to desaturate the film. And that way um, it kind of sets the tone, it sets the mood, it gives it this gothic feel that I really, really, really wanted. I wanted like a Southern Gothic nightmare. Through a series of events, um, Alice ends up running away off of the plantation and we find her, she, you know, she runs through the brush and she gets to the clearing and, you know, this is a, a 55 acre plantation. And then even beyond the plantation boundaries, she still had a ways to go to get to the outside world. When she gets to the top of this ridge, she runs out onto to a highway and imagine seeing a car for the first time. I really thought it was cool to have Alice, you know, see people like her on television and to see that there is a culture and it's something to be proud of. And I wanted her to see Pam Greer and to see a woman like Diana Ross on the face of a magazine. In the When she gets out into the 70s, it was so important for her as a character and for people in general to see these images of empow an empowered culture. For Alice to get picked up by Frank is, you know, the perfect match because he is a man who, you know, spent a decade in the 60s with his mother fighting for civil rights and now it's the 70s and he feels like everyone's forgotten about it. And Alice is really that spark that reminds him and reignites what he stands for. When I was making Alice, I felt a lot of pride in knowing that somewhere in a, you know, in a room, a, a little girl's going to see Alice and feel empowered and feel like it's okay to have a voice and to have a say in the world and to speak up for things that you feel matter. And not only that, but to never be afraid to become yourself. We shot for 22 days in Savannah, Georgia during the presidential election. You would see Trump rallies on one side of the street and then protesters on the other. So it really was a reminder of what we were doing. The, um, the hardest thing we had to face 
when we were making Alice was COVID. And we had to, during prep, we shut down and um, then we regrouped and we shot in, in the fall and we shot for 22 days. And I'm so proud of my cast and my crew for really setting the tone of safe filmmaking and a safe environment for us to be able to make a film. I love how Sundance supports filmmakers the way that they do and that there's a pure love. You can feel that there's a pure love for cinema at the Sundance Film Festival. I hope everyone loves Alice and loves Alice as much as I loved making it. And um, yeah, just enjoy, enjoy the ride.